Hello everyone, it's me, Lone Georgie here, and today we are in Rising Phoenix once again, and we are here at Austria. What we're going to do is we're going to take a ride on board with Benja for his hot lap, whilst we say that we are finally back doing what we love, streaming Rising Phoenix once again. As you can see, one shot quality because today is a sprint race, and you know what that means. If you don't, I'll tell you now. One shot quality, five laps, reverse grid for the actual race. And at the moment, Valsa seems to be uh, sandbagging quite a bit. Now, obviously, drivers who do get, who do end up sandbagging our court, doing it on the stream, will be put at the back properly anyway. So we're just keeping on with Venger. As that's invalid, we're not keeping on with Venger anymore. In fact, we're going with Andrew, who's currently in P1 in the Aston Martin. Now, normally at this point I'll be doing the driver standings and stuff, but it's not a full quality session. We don't have time for that, but instead we have time for a keto pole position. That's what we have time for. And that is beautiful to see. Uh, what's not beautiful to see is Avalsa 111. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely not beautiful to see. I don't know what's happened to Moomin Moomin Ninja, but uh, I, I don't think he uh, <laughs> I don't think he got a good lap time there. But anyway, it's a very good quality session for the Aston Martins P2 and 3. But Keto's on pole, followed by Drahalzia, uh or I'm going to call him Dra Dracula. Then we've got Andrew, Casper, Bazooka Joe, Rothman, Stolen Milk, Legendary Goat, Dougie, and Cowman rounding up the top 10. JD in 11th. Then Easy Bay and Valsa, Movement Ninja, who got a 132. And then Benja, Tony, and Maestro all DSQ'd. Well, Maestro, I don't know what happened there. But it looks like it could be a good turning out for the Ferraris, 8th and 9th as well. Casper doing well, leading his team without cry at the moment. Newman Ninja taking his place for the while. There's a very, very tight top three there, all within a tenth. Which, for Austria, basically is like, you know, two to three tenths at most other tracks. You know, in relative speaking. Obviously, drivers do know there's no formation lap here, so it is just a straight shot. A straight shot out of the barrels into turn one here. In about 23 seconds. Obviously, some drivers won't be happy with their one shot qualifying performance, but it's a very, very quick, very, very fast pace. Just in and out. <laughs> poor DRS, poor Moomin Ninja. Mad. Anyway, the drivers do know. And they're ready for this. Five red lights for the first time of the evening. And away we go. Uh, eventually. Eventually. There we go. And in fact, you can see already the Keith is having to defend. He got an awful start. As the check man goes up the inside. A few drivers are running a little bit wide there. But we can see that Strasovia's got the. Ah. Drazovia has got the lead. Keto going back out the inside. But he will not take the position. In fact, forcing Casper out wide. The two Red Bulls going side to side. The Alpine is going a little bit slowly as well. And in fact, Dougie moving down position. Legendary Goat overtaking him. Heck, even Izzy Bane up in this fight. Moving Ninja going to go up the inside here. And it's a good movement. All contact there. From on the Alpines who drops to the back, that will be stolen milk for today. Obviously, we don't need to look at people's tyres, we all know they're on softs. Anyone else not on softs is an idiot. We can definitely tell Cliffy hoping to get that re reverse positioning here. Look at him. Vans are ready for that. JD down as well as Rosario gets the fastest lap of the race. As he's racing through the field, Zuka Joe holding up Rothman here on his debut race for Rising Phoenix. Cowman 
just behind. Oh, and that's legendary goat spinning off into the barriers of the Ferrari driver. Down to P16 as Tony making his way up the inside of Izzy Bain. Izzy Bain going to give him a little bit of a squeeze. Dives a little bit too far in. Yeah, that's Izzy Bain uh, playing in VR for you. In fact, very far in. The VR masterclass is not what you think for Izzy Bain. Certainly not. Uh, moving up the field, Bazooka Joe has been overtaken by Rothel, and out wide goes Andrew. The two men from a league I also commentate, A1, 1A1, fighting with each other. We can see them in front of us, wheel to wheel. Andrew has the inside, Rothel fighting together. They're both going teammates next season, by the way. You can catch that on Sundays as Rothel pushed off. Andrew there, Bazooka Joe up the inside, and it's a brilliant little battle here. And Bazooka Joe oh, had to back out there, entry force wide. And up the inside goes Cowman. It's three abreast here. And there's a fourth breast looming at the back. As we're just going to re invite Moomin Ninja real quick because I'm a good guy. There we go. Ruff gets past Andrew, who moves to the back of this little train. These are the lap. What you want to see, the battles, Bazooka Joe, ooh, fighting with Cowman. That could have been a Hamilton v Albert incident very, very easily. But look how close they all are. Valsa has a front row seat to that. Maybe a little bit off, but... And look at them. This is absolutely beautiful. As Ben is actually looking at the inside of Valsa as well. Casper with a two-second penalty. Corner cutting already. It's only been four laps, my dude. I wonder if anyone's actually going to... Oh, Tony the fastest lap. Sadly, there's no points for that in a sprint. It's only points for the top ten. And Tony is in that tenth position. And he's holding it down tight. Oh, Casper and Keto fighting for the lead for second place here. I thought it's for a lead, but we know that no chance of that happening. Cowman... Forced off wide, Benja is going to get past him. Tony, oh, the, the pure speed of the sex god, Tony. <laughs> I had to put that in somewhere. It, it, it was a dare. I was dead to do it. See if Tony found out. If he does, Tony, comment yeehaw in the Discord server. Just, just do it. <laughs> if you don't see it, then uh, to everyone else, go. Oh. Tony has become a Ferrari. And I uh, don't know if Moon Ninja got back in yet, so I'm just going to send him another invite. But that's unfortunate for Tony, as Izzy Vayner uh, not having the time of his life, shall we say. As Andrew looking to the back of the Alpine of Bazooka Joe, legendary goat with three seconds. Valsa now joining this fight as well. Also, this is the last lap, and we can see already there is an Aston out in front and commanding a good gap as well over Casper. Meanwhile, nearest the back of the grid, JD trying his best to keep that tenth place. Dougie. Also fighting for it with a penalty. But I think the only move that possibly could happen here, apart from stolen milk overtaking Dougie, who's spun. Ooh. That is an awful place to spin. Let's overtakes first, Keto second, Casper third. We won't get the overtake that we were looking for. Look. Bazooka Joe fourth, Andrew fifth, Roth sixth, Valsa seventh, Venger eighth. Cowman 9th and JD taking 10th. Milk will have 11th. Which means Legendary Goat will be in 12th. Moving Ninja, sadly, will be at the back. Oh, well. Won't be uh, put back into the old switch marks, so he will be at the back. Is he being a lap down? Yikes. That's Tony uh, followed by Racing Maestro. Four. For the next restart. 
Now that we see the podium, that is going to be a quite a few points for Drazovia here. Oh, it's Drahov Zai. Drahov Zai. Draho Zai. Okay, last of name I need to learn. Kito second, Casper third, Bazooka Joe fourth, Andrew in fifth. Bazooka uh, Andrew dropping down, Rotham in sixth, Valsa coming from 13th to 7th, Benja 15th to 8th. Calman tenth tonight for normal Calman and JD the last point story man. That is uh that's something. Anyway, I'm just gonna check for the results to see if anyone put them in the results chat. There we go. Luckily, I think. Again, I don't don't quote me. I think I can sort this out to how it should be. Here, here's some uh, behind the scenes footage, as you like, of a uh, rising phoenix. So, long full of fine sessions, custom grid, and here we go. Uh, I don't... Nope, it's not in order. Of course it's not in order. Oh dear. Deary me. Now, we're going to pause the stream here. And then it will be back in just a moment. After, you know, we sort this out.
apologies about that. We are back in business. Just going to see what's going on with Moomin Ninja, and then after that, we will be perfect. Yep, he is. He's here. Now we just need to go back to the weekend structure. Sort it out. So Ninja is. Oh, sorry. Yep, moving Ninja at the back. There we go. And then we tell everyone to ready up. Oh dear, this is going to be fun. I'm actually looking forward to this. I was really looking forward to Austria today, I must admit. However, I wasn't expecting to have to do the lobby as well. Lobby difficulties are not my strong point, and I do not like them. Obviously, drivers know they can choose whatever setup they want. Uh, now, same as in the sprint, they can also choose whatever task they want. It's just a race to the finish. Looking at the weather, it looks like it could rain. It also looks like Cody's should be horrible to us and give us whatever weather we want. Uh, in other news, that's a nice half garage, but we're waiting for players, so. I don't know if they're... Oh, they're selection setups. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. I thought I was stuck in lobby for a second. Three, two, one. And here we are. So, on your left you can see the... There we go. So, most people choosing the mediums and hards. And here we are for information on that. So, Izzy Bain leads. Oh dear lord. Racing Meister in second, Tony in third, Vals at fourth, Dougie, Legendary Goat, Stolen Milk, then JD, Cowman, Benja, Valsa, Andrew, Bazooka Joe, Casper, Keto, Draz, and Moomin Ninja. Moomin Ninja, the only man on the softs. Meanwhile, Bazooka Joe and the Goat himself, both on the hards. Me or everyone else choosing the mediums. This is a uh, this is going to be fun. What one thing we do like here, and I think many of the slow drivers like it, is the fact that we have this reverse red. Now, as a commentator, you. And the league owner, I can't really say you know if it's good or bad. I think there are definitely bad aspects to it, but we loved the fact that we could try this. 
you know, we know the bad aspects, you know. And we know that many times there have been has been awful driving with this, but at the same time, there are many positives as well. We've had great races. Uh, I believe the first sprint race of the, of the season. Uh, no, last season, sorry. Last season, Brazil. Me, me, personally, loved it. A lot of other people loved it at Brazil. Brazil was a great track to do it at. Um, simply because you had a few, uh, you know, you had people like there's me, Swane, fighting for what, what we thought was the lead at the time. <laughs> Listen to we know it was a person called Crale coming up behind us. But, you know, I, I almost got parody in that race. So things like that. But then there are towns like Italy, where it's just just doesn't work. But anyway, doesn't matter now. We have 36 laps to think about it. Five red lights for Austria. And away we go. And there we go. It's even a brilliant start. Bloody hell. Or was that just my start? Or a really bad start? Either way, Valsa in fourth is very, very interesting. There's a little bit of squash going in. That's that's legendary goat round. Very, very slow into the into the corner. Just didn't get the speed away. Zuka Joe having to let Benja through, I believe. As we're gonna go a few cars wide. That's a Mercedes going up the inside. Casper there. Stolen milk and Dougie. Having it off, an offset. Stolen milk. Uh, not gonna launch it, but Dougie there up the inside of Dresovia. Meanwhile, at the front, Izzy getting overtaken. Tony up into P3. And that's Izzy falling down the order a bit. In fact, he's. I think he just let people through. She's, you know, good at him. Which is over here. Overtaking Bazooka Joe now. Up the inside. Casper looking to also join in with the fun. Racing Meister on the fastest lap. Things you don't see every day, that's for sure. <laughs> Racing Meister leading a race. Somebody screenshot it. It's only up to P2. The man is a menace. Dennis, the absolute menace. Here's Dougie, though. In front of us, going for the move up the inside. Dress over your watch. Oh, it's Dougie. Ay ay ay. Really bad steer that I don't actually know what happened, but he definitely lost something. Bazooka Joe making the move up the inside of Stolen Milk. Who's uh, very much off track there. Coming back on now, Legendary Go over to overtake. As Rothen up the inside of Dougie, a little shove, luckily nothing major. So Dougie I believe may have damage. Meanwhile going going into the last corner here, we have Tony. Riding on the back of Maestro. And there's rain. There is rain. Calman with the fastest lap and I could definitely see right here those raindrops. This could be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be like this the whole race, but... Oh, Maestro really making Tony work for it. DRS disabled. It's it's too wet. Drivers will now be st struggling in mid to wet conditions. Oh, and that is a safety car? Question mark? Is that a safety car? Is that virtual? I don't see a yellow car on the track. But it looks like drivers are pretty much the same as they are. Virtual, I'm guessing. Possibly for Dougie, I believe. Right, either way, DRS has been disabled after instantly being enabled. Tony not going in though, most people staying out. Valsa taking the leap of faith into the pit lane. And many other drivers are joining them. I don't think this is the smart move, I think it's still dry. 
Obviously, oh, there there was a little bit of virtual, but it's still dry enough, surely. But no, many drivers going on to the Inters. Tony staying out. Maestro following. JD third. Tries to get up to fourth now. Bazooka to fifth. Rotham also staying out in sixth. Legendary going staying out as well. Izzy Bane sticking it out too. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know who st started on the stoffs. I think it was Legendary Goat. I oh, know, sorry, it was. Where is he? Moomin Ninja. He's gone to the mediums rather than the inters. Oh dear lord. I, I don't think. I, I don't think the, the medium runners are very happy anymore. I, I, I don't. No, that's, it wasn't the right tyre. It was not the right tyre to stay on. The intermediate runners, Valter has just gained four seconds on Rotham in one sector. In one sector. And now JD's being slowed down by Maestro. Oh, this is detrimental to JD. Tony staying out. Big man Tony, no. My, my friend Tony, you're an absolute menace to society. What are you doing? <laughs> Imagine, no, you can't stay out. Like, you can't stay out. No, not in this weather, man. So, Alex stops. There's only Tony and Legendary Goat have stayed out. Is Valsa gaining time? Yes, he is, but slowly. Okay. Racing Meister and JD actually out in third and fourth. See, so it wasn't too bad, but Ben just definitely closed that gap. And that gap is ever more closing. Those inters will not be heated up, nowhere near. And Dougie overtakes Legendary Go and Moomin Ninja. Went back into the bits, Izzy still running around on the hards. Ah, same old Izzy. Oh, they're fresh hards too. Izzy, don't change, but please do. P please do. <laughs> and he, he has broken a Rise of Phoenix record. The first man to race in VR. Also, I'm pretty sure those skid marks just went to the sky. As Tony does finally pit. Which means Valsa will now be leading the race. Up three positions now, the second he overtakes Tony. There we go. As Tony will come out probably behind this gaggle of cars here. Maybe even back into ninth, depending on where he comes out the pit lane. There he is on the right hand side, and Keto will not go in front of him, Tony will come out first. Keto going to look for the move though possibly, or is he going to stay in the slipstream, he's going to stay behind. Will he make the move up the inside? No he will not, he will stay back. Tony is just, well yeah, Tony's Tony. Oh, is he being onto the Inters now? Well, we don't need to check on what tyres people are on anymore, so we can turn that off. We know all these buggers are on the Inters. You know, for a track that is DRS heaven, of course, it's wet. That's just typical, isn't it? And there's tracks like Monaco where the DRS doesn't even work. In fact, the DRS is more of a safety measure because the last corner really pushes you back. As does Ovia, gets a three second penalty. But we're looking on board with, well, not on board, on our helicopter cam. Thanks for the helicopter, guys. <laughs> with Benja behind the Alpine of JD. In fact, in a PC gamer sandwich. Imagine. I mean, not really much gaining going on. In fact, a very, very slow corner left from Benja. Cowman is going to be on his tail very, very quickly. It's the only lap seven, but Cowman looking for positions, and positions mean points. As we know, top 15 get points. And that's Izzy out of the session. And that's a full track virtual. Izzy crashes, full track virtual. How has he spun it out there? How have you spun it out there? 
Uh, I'll be back in just a sec, let's need to get my water. Virtual safety cars just ended. Don't have water, and simply got Pepsi today. <laughs> the virtual safety cars actually really helped JD out here. Now, once again, right on the back of Brayton and Maestro. Maestro not the, the fastest in the wet, which is why there's a little bit of a train behind him. Casper closing up to that train as well. As you can see on the track map here. Both Aston Martins, though. Doing well, 10th and 11th, after being uh, quite high up in the sprint. Now, a little bit further down in the wet here. Yes, a, a rear wheel camera, that's what we want. Bloody EA. JD gaining, gaining, uh, losing time. It's, it's one of those sad, I guess, realities, really. In the wet, it's just really hard to gain any time unless the driver makes a mistake. But here, he's got a good run. In the dry, you'd expect him to go for a move up the inside. He's going to go round the outside here. JD, looking for the move, doesn't get it. Not to start off with, anyway. Maestro defending really well. JD's going to look for it up the inside. Maestro doesn't give him the time of day. And it's actually got really good defending there from Maestro. As he will keep that JD right in the curves and is once again back down the pecking order. Tony into this fight as well. Casper's kind of pushed him into it too. Casper looking for some moves as he thinks he's got the moves like Jagger. Side note, he does not. And here's Tony. Uh, not doing much, just waiting for the perfect opportunity. See, as long as someone gets a bad exit like here, Casper, nowhere near quick enough, out of that corner. Tony has the speed, has the acceleration. Casper will try and defend. Oh, yep. Yeah. <sighs> Little touch to the Red Bull. Too, too fast in. <sighs> and that's Casper down in position. Tony up one, and he's now onto the back of Cowman. In fact, JD does get past Maestro, but it's a lunge in, meaning Maestro gains the position back. JD looking really desperately here. Obviously, they know Valsa has a 5.2 second lead, and he is just extending that by a second. And it's one of those things where track, you've got to be quick and consistent. Yeah. But sadly, it's just not happening. Actually, Maestro's just taken a whole tenth out of uh, Valsa here. Don't know if Valsa had a wobble, but Maestro's set a really good lap time. But he's now plus six tenths, almost plus seven at some point. As a uh, Cowman will defend off Tony. Tony's got the best run of his life here, but Cowman, brilliant acceleration. Tony unable to do much here. And he's got the back of a Red Bull. Will he make a move up the inside? He's not going to go for a lunch. He's going to go in a... smartly here. And yeah, the problem is, it's just tough braking zone after tough braking zone. Sadly, I don't think drivers are going to make moves unless they do try and dive in. But as we say that, Keto fighting Casper up the inside. 
He's been left room and Casper doing as best as he can to defend it. And in fact does keep it. Keto not the quickest exit. And it's in fact struggling to keep up at the moment. Casper sliding around though. And again we'll just have to wait a little bit longer for another battle. Meanwhile JD5 tenths behind. He has gained a tenth over the slap. And we'll see Cliffy here. Cowman not able to pull away too much, but obviously there's not really much good clean air. It's all dirty air, I meaning Cowman's able to get away just a little bit. And Benja right in front of him, kind of, it's kind of a swinging pendulum here. Cowman goes closer to Cliffy and closer to Benja, closer to Cliffy. You know, it really depends where they are on the track. As you can see, right up tight with Benja, right here. And then we'll come a bit closer to Cliffy, but then have Benja's slip slipstream towards the end of the straight once again. And again, it's just a swinging pendulum, which is kind of what's, what the wets are. You know, in the dry it's a DRS train, you can kind of go for some moves, there's some, some overtakes. But the wets are really hard. That's all I have to say, they're just hard. You know, you can't... There is a dry line, and there is a good line. Any move outside that is just ridiculous. But Benja is driving extremely slowly. Into the pits, he does go though. And what's... Now the question is what he goes on to, so we're going to put that on. And Tony gets ran through and behind by Casper. Seriously? Seriously. <sighs> Seriously, man. How, how do you go in... How? How? <sighs> then John's the wets. A little knocked off now. That, that's that's the nearest to the stewards, no doubt, no doubt on my mind. And uh, Bazooka Joe three tenths off Keto. And Keto trying his best to gain up to it. Up there. These are one of those races you'll... Uh, sorry. Uh, it's a key to climb close up. I hope you could try, try and close up the key so. Drazovia though, 4 10. Oh. Drahovza. Draho... Oh, for fuck's sake. The Czech man. The man who is playing chess. Constantly putting people in check. Up behind Tony. I... Assume these two here next season. This is the full-time fight for the win. And I would love to see the two, these two bats that out. But Tony going up the inside of Casper, getting that move done. Casper going to look for the move back and it's, it's not on surely. But he's keeping it clean with Tony. Both of them there, wheel to wheel. Tony does keep it in front. Casper loses out. We, we know Benja is on those wets and he's not really gaining much. In fact, he's not gaining anything really on. I, I think it's around about the same same lap times here, surely. Like you, he's not gaining at all. But until there, we just gained like a whole two seconds out, like four seconds out of nowhere. Start stolen milk, got a penalty for corner cutting, okay. Makes a little bit of sense. JD though, right on the gearbox of Maestro. If he can't make the move here, he's never going to make it. And in fact, he does. Maestro really giving him it to the grass. Maestro's going to have the inside line, which will definitely help him. 
but he's gone from one side to the other. JD with the cutback. And the, the switchback move has worked. Moistro down to P3. JD has the chance to go and race Valsa. There we go to have that off. Which we know we're not. We're going to check who else is on the let's. Ah, Dougie is. Dougie, Benjamin, and Casper in a party together. So uh, that's going to be an interesting conversation later. When I come back and I'm like, what the hell is going on, boys? Why are you on wets? Right, with 20 laps to go, anything could really happen. Tony closing the entry, though. Three tenths behind. Oh. Oh, JD is gaining. I, I don't think Vals is getting the win today, boys. JD is gaining heavily. Six tenths down already as Cliffy up the inside. Andrew will defend. And he will... He, oh, he, perfect. Perfect move. Andrew not going in too deep. Gives Cliffy the space. Cliffy now up into P7. Andrew down to P8. He can't... I, I don't think he can come back from that. That is... That's Tony's position. But Drazovia up the inside of Casper. Casper forced to the, the most wide part of the track there. He's going to have a cheeky look up the inside. I don't think that's going to work though. I don't think I've ever seen an overtake properly there. And Casper forced in behind. And Sector 3 is a yellow flag. That is Legendary Goat. Or that's Dougie, I believe, now a lap down. Not having a good time on those wets. That's for sure. Come on now. The next person. On for Maestro. As Kitam Zukajo just get past Dougie. Cliffy now coming through. Come on, four attempts. Maestro's dropped the ball here. Really slowing up. Cowman is in. He has got the Williams in his sight. Maestro has done well though. 17 laps. Nick DeVries defending. And you know what? You have to give credit to Maestro here. A lot of credit. And I think that this is a driver's day esque performance. How well he's defended this. Is it hard to defend in the wet? Not not as much as it is in the dry, that's for sure. But he's done brilliantly for 17 laps to basically keep it P, you know, top three. A Maestro podium would be the dream. And in fact, he deserves it at this rate. But he's got another half a race to go. As Tony now into the pits, he probably thinks thinks it's time for wet. A lot of others do as well. The Andrew and Mr. Check coming through. Both the Astons. Oh, look at that line. That was a beauty and a half. I wonder if it's like, would it be a good idea for Cowman here to pit? But obviously he's got Tito behind him. If he pits, he can get past Maestro easily. If he can't do it here, does he pit? As Akita just fighting the Bazooka Joe there. Obviously, we're in this Maestro train. Uh, that's just Dougie letting people, letting people through. I assume they're all on wets, right? Yeah, they've all gone to wets. Okay. Obviously, we were expecting that to stop. Uh, we're going to put that on as well. So we're going to keep these tyres up because it's going to be interesting to see, yes. Cowman and Maestro both pit. Okay. Uh, Keita going to the pits, Bazooka Joe pitting. Uh, Andrew going to pit. And Drazovia also pitting. Um, sorry, missed the check. Okay, that's, that's very interesting. JD has stayed out, Valsa coming in. It's going to be an Aston Martin double stack. And oh, that's a problem. That is very much a problem. The Aston Martin double stack. Toby's going to gain quite a few positions here.
as Tony gets past Cowman. Unlucky Cowman. Stolen milk. Still on the intermediates. What a chad. <laughs> Have to respect the man representing one eighth of the world. As in India. <laughs> Well, it's actually one seventh, but like we're almost at eight billion people, you know. So one seventh of the world, plus a bit. Big respects. Meanwhile, Kiso representing pizza, pushing off stolen milk. He stole the milk because there was no pineapple left for the pizza. And Bazooka Joe goes past as well. Let's not say what he represents. Or what he would have represented like about 80 years ago. Hey. Is that a full course safety cut? What? For what? For what? For JD's inevitable pit stop? Like, what, what is this? A, the, the JD steals the show thing. Like, Milk gets a free pit stop, which is great. Benja went on to the intermediates, which I'm clueless about. 30 something seconds down, I think he must have caused the incident. But why is there another virtual? Oh, it's a full! It's full! Uh, someone just lost their wing to the safety car. Moving Ninja just ran into the safety car. It's a full. Okay, that's um. That's interesting. So the safety car is there. The next person to come out is an Alpine of stolen milk. Who passes it? Okay. Legendary Milk and Dougie both go into the pit. If they. Oh, oh, sorry. Legendary Goat and Benja. Now I assume. So Dougie's going to be in this. in between everyone, basically. And so is Moomin Ninja. Uh, they're kind of stuck in the middle of the pack, but being a lap down. Falson not going to pit again. I don't. I know that's not the right option. That is definitely not the right option. But I'm just wondering how people are going to play this. Obviously, as we've seen, both the Ferrari and the Haas are going past. Safety car is there, ready to pick up Valsa. And JD kind of the front of the train. That is a pit stop for Moomin Ninja, who will come out behind Dougie. They're fighting for a point at the moment. That is basically the fight for the points. So the safety car won't be in this lap, I'm guessing. But obviously there's a Ferrari still waiting to come around up upon the track. a very interesting restart, that's for sure. Benjamin's got a 33 second gap to catch back up. Uh, Legendary Goat will also be able to catch up. I don't know if Dougie's able to overtake. I assume not. Hmm. 
Oh, so we'll know if the safety car's back in in a mere moment. I think it, the timing line should be. So I have a sec. The between sector 2 and sector 3 here. Or it's coming out of this corner here, turn 8. I don't like the fact that on track maps, turn 2 is literally that, the long straight. I don't like that, but that's just personal opinion. It's already on a tangent. Looking at this, everyone's got full ERS. Everyone's got brand new wets. 14, uh, 13. Yeah, 13 laps left to go, basically, of racing laps, anyway. Andrew goes to the pits, he will drop down only a position or two? Uh, in fact, it depends where he comes back out. But it looks like it will be behind Benja. Uh, legendary Goat. Going quickly, I don't know if... Uh, will Andrew get there? No, no he won't. Legendary Goat's got this, surely. And it's neck and neck. As you can see on the map, but yep. Legendary Goat out in front of Andrew. Then Dougie and Moomin are basically in between. I'm guessing, is that, is that Benja? Yes, okay, so there. Dougie and Moomin are between Benja and the Alpine. Oh, stolen milk. Valsa. We'll take this restart though. We've got Tony down in fourth, Maestro in third, JD in second. So JD will be the, the man looking to get the best start here behind Valsa. Valsa obviously not going yet. Safety car just coming in. See, Valsa wants to get the best start possible. Safety car. Not through the timing line yet, so Valsa really trying to get the best start possible he can, and it's it's good for Valsa, it's not good for JD, and that's Maestro right on his gearbox here. You know, Keto, Bazooka, Casper, <laughs> Draz, Mr. Check up the inside of the pole, Casper. Nope. Fighting Ruffins. Meister and Tony even battling out, jeez. As a cowman gets to move past Tony. Down to P5. Don't know how Draz has gone down here. Legendary Goat. Forced wide. Milk also going very, very wide. As Milk comes back on a little bit dangerously there. It's going to be three abreast. Luckily Milk backs out. Andrew keeps it. Drives back in and JD five tenths behind Valsa. Earlier was gaining. Now, well, we're going to wait and see. As it's very slow for Cowman. Coming into the last two corners. Tony kind of forcing him through there. Meanwhile, his teammate Mizuka Joe on the back of Keto. Can't really see much due to all the spray. Andrew with Legendary Goat. And here comes Mr. Chess once again. Because uh, I have explained the joke like three times already. But he's now Mr. Chess. Because I can't be asked to say his name. I don't think I'll be able to try and say his name. I, I'm not going to try and offend someone with an uh, awful pronunciation of their name. That's just unfair of me. The Keto defending off Bazooka Joe like a madman here. Bazooka Joe clearly trying to become the king of the wets. Uh, Casper now three turns behind, closing the gap ever so slightly. 
Zuka Joe's going to need a good exit here. In fact, gets one. Casper's is a little bit skewed. As you can see by the fact that he has to just kind of swell a bit. Now down to 7 cents. Then the closing in, it won't be enough though. In no world is that enough, but there's an AI there. Oh, stolen milk. Retired from the session in the pits. Not a good outing for him after doing so well. And milk is out. Sad to see him go, but hopefully we'll be back next week even stronger. Oh, Cowman. Two tenths behind. A racing Maestro, who's unfortunately lost JD once again. Cliffy really putting the pressure on the Red Bull, though. Who's obviously putting the pressure on the Williams. Cliffy definitely coming for that Red Bull seat next season. I actually really like this helicopter cam. Don't know if I've ever mentioned that. But it's great. Rolf from also three tenths behind Casper. We're gonna keep that one there just in case. I think that could be a good move that comes up in the future. We're just flicking between two and three tenths here. And could this be a good run for the Alpha Tauri? Into turn three. Late on the brakes from Cowman to try and defend to his best. Both of them giving each other good room. Keto now trying to get in as well. And in fact, Keto is now the danger. But I don't believe that he was able to make that move, even if he wanted to. Neymar Rotham just loses out there. He's got a lap Mercedes in front of him, who uh, will need to get out of the way very, very soon, or face a penalty uh, by the game. As... Oh. As Dezovia somehow... I don't know how he can hit into the wall there. But he is out. And that's a yellow in sector. Yeah, you know, only in sector three at the moment. As his car parks up. Cliffy, P5 now. Will he be able to make the move on Cowman? I don't think we'll. Not that close anyway. We'll have to wait till the next corner. track may be drying up. I think it's definitely not uh, dry. But it's looking like it's more into weather now at least. Nope, never mind, ignore me. Just my imagination. Meanwhile, JD is with Bowser now. That's a big talking point. Only five tenths between the two of them, and this is the battle for the lead. I mean, the last fourth, even forcing up even more. And no offense, you can't see a thing. You cannot genuinely, you only see a thing. First person can. I, I don't know who's going to be in danger. Is Cowman in danger, or is he the danger for Maestro? Uh, I think neither is the option for that one. That's be another lap. I have only seven laps left to go. Moves have to be made very, very quickly. And here comes the move. Going to the outside on the hill. Very, very risky. Very, very hard to tell what happens. But Cowman unable to make it there. Will he go again? And the answer is yes, yes he will. JD of a 3 time time penalty, oh that almost guarantees 
Valsa a win here unless JD can do something about that. This could be Valsa's first RP victory of the season. The giant JD's really pumping that ERS into this now. I think Cal I, I really can't tell with this battle here. It looks like Tony gets such better exits, but Calman just able to close in on Maestro so easily. Like differential in setups perhaps? One going for more straight line speed, but even so. Calman as well pumping the ERS into, <laughs> into his moves. <laughs> Cliffy went in deep as well there as well. Oh, he's saying Cliffy, it's Tony. Used to uh, his old PSN. Back in the days of commentating over a much better game, I must admit. Roth and Casper will still be going at it. Tooth and nail. Uh, that's not going to be a good enough exit for JD. No chance in hell. Just no chance. Sad to say. Tony on the other hand though. Could have a move on Cowman here. He's very very close. This is going to be up the inside. And here we go. I think there's a little bit of lag there as well. In fact, Tony is now under pressure from Keto. Oh, that rain is still coming down heavy. As Kama makes contact with Maestro. Maestro with the world's greatest defense, I must say. Maestro has just been solid. It's lap 31, and I'm so, I'm sorry. This this is a driver of the day performance from him. The rain may have helped, but this is this is godly. I can't even I can't be mad. As the ripple of Ah, oh, it's a it's a bad entry to the last corner. But behind Legendary Goat and Andrew side by side for P11. Andrew up now. Legendary Goat down in position. Here we go again. Tony once again going for the inside line. Cowman won't be able to defend this one, surely. And no, he doesn't. Tony gives him the racing room. Cowman still on track but has the much better acceleration. Will he do it again into turn four? No, he won't. Cowman keeps the position once more. Oh, you've got to feel for Tony here. I mean, Cowman as well put on a brilliant defence. This is this is scintillating stuff. So I'm looking at pens as well. Rotham will be going down to 11th. So Andrew could be in the chance of a top 10 here. Legendary go on the cusp for that. Of uh, P11. Obviously, defending on Rothman's penalty. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I think the best battle here about to take shape. Rain getting even heavier, I do believe. Tony, he's going right. The cowman's defended. Will he go for it? Yes, he will. But has to back out. Taking it slightly deep as well. Keto now in with a chance as well, perhaps. And no. Meanwhile, behind Benja and Bazooka Joe. Benja just even Joe enough room. 
tight little squeeze forcing Joe to go the long way around. And Joe does, but can't make the move stick, which has been the problem for quite some time at this track, especially in the wet. Cowman, though, after defending for so long, now on the offensive. Nick DeVries under pressure. This this man is genuinely Nick DeVries. Because he has defended so well on that Williams. Legendary group of three seconds. He will not be getting that P11. Cowman though could be getting... I don't even know where Cowman could be getting. He could be getting a lot of things at the moment. He could be getting Maestro, he could be getting Cliffy. I'm really not sure. Valks is down to P2, back up to P1. JD looking for the undercut, doesn't work. The first switch back, doesn't work. And Valks are back into P1, JD down by a hell of a lot of time. And through goes Cowman. Maestro couldn't defend it any longer. But he's coming back, Maestro's come back. They're locking wheels, and Cowman's through. Cowman into P3, Maestro down to P4. He's take, he's done it for so long, and it's unfortunate he's let a man through. And it's a Cowman, that's who. Cowman getting a podium, I never thought I'd see the day. He's defended from, so, from Tony for so long. Oh, this is genuinely a feel-good moment for Calman. I think the next question is, is this the rapture, the awakening for Maestro? And um, I think quite plainly, the answer may be yes as Tony's going to put him under pressure for the next lap and a half for so long. Oh, Cowman's binned it! No! 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 A Cowman has binned it. Tony's got past Maestro. He thought he had his podium back, and he does! Maestro's back through. Tony down to P4. Keto putting the pressure on. And JD is even in first as well. Oh dearie me. I don't know what's happened in these last few laps, but suddenly things just got chaotic. Someone rolled a nat one and the shit hit the fan. That's what happened. Valks is down 1.2. JD needs to pull a 1.8 second gap in a lap. Keto, Tony and Maestro fighting for fee 3 And the first straight alone is taking four, se four tenths. It's now a 1.3 second gap JD needs. Benji kind of pushing through here. Pushing Keto up. Tony, 0.2 seconds. JD's not quick enough so far. Oh, Tony putting in the speed. The afterburners just kind of came on there. It's not enough. It's not enough for JD. Unless Valsa bins it. It's not enough. It's... It was a few laps too late. Probably just another lap and JD could have made that. Maybe two laps at a push. But JD will come home in P1, but Valsa will take it back for the penalty. Maestro is going to come across the line for P3. No way. Tony 4th, Keto 5th, Benja in P6, Bazooka Joe then Casper, Andrew, Rotham. Oh, legendary Goat, Cowman, Roman Ninja, and Dougie. Home in 14th. I have to, my respect for Juggy. Whee! 
and he doesn't even f oh he does finish okay good my respect for this man who still persevered drive with a key so no 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 ignore that ignore it that's not who our drive of the day is our drive of the day is on the podium today Valsa drove the, the race of his life and probably deserves it but he drove it with one man fighting him that man being JD JD drove the race of his life fought valiantly but couldn't win but the man who was under pressure every single second of that race who took the race in his palms and said I will protect you and you know what he did? he was overtaken twice twice once by the man JD once by Cowman racing maestro you have not just proven the hate is wrong you've not just proven Williams wrong you have proven me wrong you are officially today's drive for the day Nick DeVries eat your heart out ladies and gentlemen I've been your host Lone Georgie find me at that on Twitter at Lone Georgie that's uh, also my own YouTube as well I've enjoyed today so much so you know what I think I'll be back next week it has been a pleasure an absolute pleasure I know the Twitter admin posted something about the return of the king but no the only king here I see is Maestro take care everyone it's been a pleasure